Well, even with a little bit of scattered clouds around the area, it felt much better out there today. Afternoon highs, upper 70s and more so low 80s, much closer to average. A couple of isolated cells popping up. More on that in a minute, but feeling more like June as we finish out this week. Good news, Father's Day now looking mainly dry, and it will be on the warm to potentially hot side, depending on uh, how long the rain holds off. Unsettled and a little stormy into early next week, including the holiday on Monday, Juneteenth. Uh, the bulk of the activity out here into eastern Kentucky kind of pulsing up and pulsing down. Still some showers between Campton and Beattyville there in parts of Wolf and in the Lee counties and then south of Sayersville. All this developing along a little boundary which has just been laid out south of I-64. Much of the rest of the area high and dry, and we're looking good uh, here across the Ohio Valley. That upper low finally kicking out. Some storms across Tennessee. The big stuff is down across the deep south with an ongoing severe weather outbreak there. Notice the mainly overcast conditions. Our Bluegrass Pace Care Sky VHC Camera Network down in Richmond. 77 winds have been a little breezy out of the west at uh, around uh, 10 to 15 and gusting over 20 at times. You see mid 70s to upper 70s out east, uh, right around 80 here in the bluegrass and across southern Kentucky, of course. Pollen always a problem this time of the year. The grass pollen is high. Everything else, weeds, trees, and the mold in the moderate category. As mentioned, you see all the stormy weather through parts of Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. A number of severe thunderstorm and tornado watch boxes and warning polygons. They've had uh, five inch diameter hail reports. That's grapefruit size or bigger and 80 to 90 mile per hour winds across parts of Mississippi down in that warmer sector. We're in between systems. Few little isolated cells we have, those will go by the wayside as we lose the heating of the day. And then tomorrow morning, waking up in the low 60s, it was a lot better out there early this morning. And then an isolated shower or two can be ruled out tomorrow. This weak boundary drops in and sweeps through early on Friday. So that's gonna mean we'll knock temperatures back a couple of degrees, still low 80s, won't even notice the difference. Good start to the long weekend. Saturday, 83, and that next area of low pressure, it will make a run for the Ohio Valley, but it looks like it will now be delayed. Check out Sunday. In fact, a lot of the data indicating the day is gonna be dry, and if that happens, temperatures will trend upward, so I wouldn't be surprised to actually see us press the upper 80s, and then for Juneteenth on Monday and beyond, it does look like that low will slowly work in here, thus the jump in humidity levels of our muggy meter heading into Sunday and into the early part of next week. But a few clouds, mild again tonight, 60 for the overnight low. Coming up tomorrow, 84, most locations dry, that isolated afternoon shower and the extended forecast here Friday, Saturday, and now Sunday looking good. Just a stray storm, I think, west of Lexington, depending on timing, late day, and it may even be warmer than that. Juneteenth, a little wet and stormy, and yes, a week from today, 1057 a.m., the summer solstice occurs, so the official start of summer will have a few storms around and afternoon highs in the low 80s.